Hello and welcome to RoboMonk Art and Tarot. I am RoboMonk. Today we are exploring what positive blessings are coming your way. And just before we begin, I want to say thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you for all your energy, love, and support that you've shown me along the way. I'm sending it right back to you. Also, if you want to do a personal reading with me, check down in the description below for the information. Let's get started with what the piles have for us. Pile one, we have an emerald. Pile two, we have a purple amethyst. And pile three, we have a blue sapphire. So see what resonates and let's get started. Hello, pile one. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today, we are exploring what positive blessings are heading your way. We are going to see what images spirit gives me and then decipher the meanings together. So let's get started. The first image that I see is of a target used in archery. And there is an arrow flying towards the center. This makes me think that you are trying to reach a goal it could be a very personal goal or it could be a work goal, okay? And you are and have been trying to reach this goal for quite a long time now. The next image I see is one of a lagoon where you are just about to embark outside of the lagoon. And a lagoon is a small body of water that's usually within a cave or something like that, something a little bit more protected. It could be surrounded by land. But what this makes me feel is that you are about to get out into an environment that you're not so comfortable you are needing to get out or to a place where you aren't familiar with it. And you are kind of leaving your safety zone, your, your home, your place where you do feel comfortable. So in this picture, I see you in the water swimming out towards the mouth of the lagoon and out towards the open ocean so anything can happen from here on out but in order to accomplish your goal you're actually going to need to get out of your comfort zone and grow and have experiences to help you grow the next image i see is you thinking of all the different trophies and accomplishments that you could earn as you get out into this deep wide ocean, this place that is really going to make you grow. And even though it's uncomfortable, you're really thinking it's going to be worth it because of all of the praise and abundance that you could actually earn from getting out and getting into the world with accomplishing this goal. The next image I see is one of a badger. And a badger is very patient, but very fierce, only in the self-defense kind of way. So I'm seeing spirit challenging you to act like a badger of having this patience, but also being strong and fierce and defending yourself and your goal that you're going for. There could be a lot of feedback out there that may be considered negative, but when you harness this spiritual animal of the badger, you're going to be ferocious. You're going to stand up to these people and be able to actually continue on towards your goal. Because the badger is very good at being grounded, but also seeing far in the future as well. 
So I think you'll be able to actually plan ahead quite well in the near future. The next image I get is actually a uh, kind of a strange one, but it is of a hand with very long fingers wrapping around a tree. What I can think of this is you are extending your reach. As you go from the safe place of this lagoon out into the ocean, into the wild depths of the ocean where anything can happen, you are extending your reach over the tree of life. And this means that you are actually living your life the way you should. Not being afraid of growth, not being afraid of putting yourself out there, and not being afraid of judgment. And as you do that, you are growing spiritually, emotionally, and mentally. This will all lead to abundance for you. The next card I see is one of a daisy. And this really has a lot of different meanings in a lot of different cultures. But one that is shared in many different cultures is one of purity and new beginnings. I really do see this as a new beginning for you. You challenging yourself to step out of your comfort zone and grow and actually reaching for these trophies, these things that you are wanting, this, this, these accolades. And there might be a lot of competition out there as well that you are thinking that you have to be better than. But spirit is with you, helping you extend your reach in your lifetime and having positive effects as you extend that reach. The next image is a person peeking out of the blinds. So when you have a window, you may have blinds installed so that nobody can actually see in or out of the window. And usually they're horizontal in form, sometimes they're vertical. But you can peek outside of the blinds to see what's going on. And a lot of times you are unnoticeable when you do that. And what this picture really means to me is that people are going to start to notice you. Even though you may not notice them noticing you, they're going to start to notice your efforts. They're going to start to notice what goal you're actually going for. And they're actually going to start being impressed by your tenacity, right? You're willing not to give up and to go for this goal. And as you go for this goal, I'm seeing that you are actually going to succeed in it and it's going to give you a huge level up in life. I'm seeing three chevrons. So that might be an equivalent of a military rank, but also it would be a step up spiritually, right? I think that you are going to gain such spiritual knowledge through this whole endeavor and be a much wiser and complete person as you go towards this goal. It will take patience, but you actually getting enough courage to go out of this lagoon and into the ocean, Spirit is applauding you for this. Spirit is saying, yes, it is time. It's time to move out and accomplish what you're here to do. And it is like a new beginning. And you are really seizing life, how Spirit wants you to seize it. So these are many, many different positive blessings coming your way because you're going to have enough patience to accomplish this goal. You're going to have enough knowledge to reach out and seize life in the way spirit wants you to. You're going to feel like this is a new beginning and feel pure again. And then you're going to feel this recognition and this step up in spirituality and abundance. So pile one, I'm very happy for you. This sounds amazing for you. And just know that I'm excited. 
and spirit is excited for you too. So thank you so much for being here today. I truly appreciate it. And thank you for lending your energy to this reading. Know that you're loved, know that you're blessed, and I'll see you next time. Hello, Pile 2. Thank you so much for being here with me today. We are exploring what positive blessings are coming your way. And as you can see, we have eight cards here. We're going to see what's uh, going to come up and what images Spirit gives me. And then we're going to decipher the meaning together. So let's get started. So this first image wasn't very clear in the beginning. And I kept seeing two flames pulsing together, mimicking one another. And then I thought, oh, twin flame. Okay. So here we have a twin flame reading. So if this is resonating, let's move on. The second image is actually one of a person behind bars, like they're in prison waiting to get out. And I feel like this twin flame relationship has been on hold for a very long time. It may have been that you were together at one point, but this could be a new twin flame coming into your life. Maybe you haven't met them this time around in the life cycle. But I feel like they have been held back from seeing you for a long time, if this entire lifetime so far. And so they may not have known it, but they have been waiting for this time to actually come into your life. I see in this third card an explosion, almost like a bullet coming shooting out from uh, a gun or something like that and with this it's like everything is changing in their life suddenly they're having a tower moment right they're having a tower moment and with this it's like they are going to shoot right into your life and just kind of arrive on the scene so it's going to be a little unexpected for you, but it's going to be a real positive, I'm sensing. The fourth card was a very traditional image, actually. So it's kind of an old fashioned tradition at this point, but it used to be when people got married that they were given a set of silverware eating utensils that they could use together in their new life. And I'm seeing that. I'm actually seeing that. And what this means to me is that there is a marriage potential with this twin flame coming into your life. So that's huge, right? But this is a huge sign for you. And this is something to take note that a marriage material partner is actually coming into your life. The next card I see is the beginning of the cosmos. I really feel like this is going to be a huge change in your life, but for the better. One of creation, one of new experiences for you. And it's going to feel like the beginning of a universe with this person. That all of the old universe that was there didn't matter anymore you're creating a new universe with this person and everything that is going to be created is created by both of you together which is very beautiful and with this energy it's going to be swirling around it's going to be actually filling your life with light and their life with light and it's going to be an amazing moment to just witness because it's 
it's going to feel like it came out of nowhere because they've been held back for so long and then you guys are going to meet and it's going to be this wonderful creation together. The next image I see is one of two Polaroids. And with this, this tells me something. This person may remind you of a person that you knew before. So the fact that they are your twin flame may mean that you knew them in a different lifetime. Very, very possible. And that's why they seem familiar and comfortable, right? But this also could mean that they actually remind you of somebody here in this life on this earth plane that it may be they remind you of a family member that you are fond of or they remind you of a friend a childhood friend or someone that you feel very comfortable with and it seems like you both are going to become very good friends as well as romantic together the next image i see is very wonderful as well i see this as a very solid connection some of us aren't meant to find our twin flames until later in life uh, if you are younger considers yourself very lucky to meet your twin flame early on uh, some of us aren't that lucky and we meet our twin flames later on in life. Um, but just know that we are all lucky to actually have this experience one way or another in a lifetime. Because sometimes there are lifetimes where the twin flames don't meet, right? They actually have to wait two or three or four lifetimes to meet again. So this is something that's very special for you. And the next card that I see is one of a starfish, but there's actually two starfish. And what that means to me is that you both go through life in your own unique way, but you are actually co-creating together a universe together in a very amazing way because you work so well together. You both are empaths. You both are sensitive. So usually this would mean if you're sensitive and your partner isn't, then that might cause some conflict, right? But with this partner, they understand where you're coming from. They also too are empathic and sensitive. So with this, you actually have a wonderful chance of having a very deep, meaningful emotional relationship with this person and they will be also very romantic as well because they will want that in return too i see a lot of the same love languages going around in this connection the last card here mimics the seventh card where there is two brains together sharing different thoughts almost telepathically that's really what i'm seeing is a telepathic connection between yourself and your twin flame which makes sense right they are your twin flame they are the one that knows you the best but sometimes when we come in contact with our twin flame it can be at the wrong time it can be a different connection than what we are wanting and they always teach us lessons but sometimes it can feel like a negative experience but this is a very very positive experience like you both are matching frequencies you both are with the same love languages you both are at the point where it's a good time to meet so i'm seeing this as a wonderful wonderful connection so that's amazing pile too. That's fantastic. So I'm very excited for you about this. So I truly hope this resonated pile too. And I hope this brings you clarity. Thank you so much for adding your energy to this reading. And know that you're loved. Know that you're blessed. And I'll see you next time.
Hello, Pile 3. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today we are exploring what positive blessings are coming into your life. So as you can see, we have eight cards in front of us, and I'm going to draw images that Spirit gives us, and we are going to interpret them together. So let's get started. The first image that I see is one of a constellation called the Big Dipper or Ursa Major. It could be a bear. It has many, many different names depending on which culture you're in. But over here in the United States, we call it the Big Dipper because it's like a ladle, which is a cup with a long handle on it. And you usually use that to scoop water or some kind of liquid while cooking or out in the field and you have a bucket you drink from that as well so this is a huge ladle in the sky right and in this interpretation i see many stars falling from this ladle and i'm getting the sense that you have been helping other people make their wishes come true you have been helping other people have their goals and their dreams realized here in this earth plane wonderful job spirit recognizes this spirit loves that you are helping others in their journey while they are here what's amazing about this is spirit is actually going to have a karma switch and i have a picture of a light switch that says out and in and this dictates which way karma is flowing so right now all of your karma is flowing out because you've been giving so much and you've been trying to put your energy out there in a positive way you've been trying to help others and you've been giving, 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 which is amazing. And spirit recognizes this, as I said. But the, I like to call this a karma switch, like a light switch, where now the karma switch is being put into the in position. So you're going to flick that little karma switch. And now all of the good karma that you've put out there is coming towards you. And all of this karma is being collected and coming towards you. So now it is time in spirit's mind that you start to get some of your wishes granted as well. And other people will help you with that. Just like the old adage of you reap what you sow. I see a beautiful garden that you have helped create around you you have positive energy you have helped so many other people and now when this karma comes back in your garden will flourish even more with this good karma coming towards you the fourth card is one of an oil lamp this oil lamp is quite dim right now because you've been giving so much and your light is a little low because maybe you've given a little too much and your energy is low but with this karma now coming towards you it's going to light that oil lamp and make it much brighter you are going to feel fulfilled you are going to feel very positive and almost overwhelmed with good energy. I also see this as a huge karma return. This isn't talking about just in the last six months or the last year. Spirit is looking back in the last seven years for your karma return. So in archeology, span they have something called stratigraphy where they look at the layers of the dirt and see where things are situated. And I see seven 
different layers of dirt here in this fifth card. And this is representing the seven different years that karma is looking back to see what you have done. And spirit is finding that you have done so much to help other people in the last seven years. And this sixth card is actually you looking at the good karma that you have helped other people with. And you may be very surprised at how much there is out there that's coming in return to you. So people have remembered, people have noticed, and people are thanking you. And spirit is thanking you. You're going to feel very abundant coming up here. In the seventh card, I see two cell phones of two separate people. And this to me means that someone is going to contact you that you haven't heard from in a very long time. And what this means is that there's going to be an old friend. There's going to be a family member. There's going to be some positive connection that you have wanted to hear from but you haven't thought about them in a while or it just didn't happen for a while and you're going to hear from them again. So this is all part of that karma switch coming in and the good karma coming towards you. So you're going to have this person come back into your life that you didn't expect, but it's a positive. Okay. It's a positive person coming back into your life so that we can thank spirit for as well. The last card I see is you with your arms outstretched and coins falling from the sky. You are going to feel so abundant. And I always say this, abundant does not mean or have to mean money. It can be spiritual abundance, emotional abundance, mental abundance, and it can be financial abundance. So whatever abundance you are seeking spirit knows this right spirit is going to return all of this to you in so many positive ways so pile three this is an amazing reading you have been doing so much for others and now it's time for that energy to return to you in a very positive way so get ready for that I think spirit knows that you deserve this and you are being rewarded. So congratulations, pile three. That is an amazing feeling and an amazing place to be. Well, pile three, I hope this resonates with you. And I hope this brings you clarity. Thank you so much for bringing your energy to this reading. Know that you're loved, know that you're blessed, and I'll see you soon.